Hi, it's Maria. Happy Monday and welcome to the Dressing Gown Diaries. So if you were watching last week's video, you'll know that, um, you know, this is representing you and these, this lovely piece of blue tack is representing all the extra things you try to add on to yourself so that you can um, get the things you think you want in your life um and and the things that you think are going to make you happy and what i was talking about was how we take this way and then show up as ourselves and then actually the magic is that what we want is then naturally magnetized towards us so it's actually a case of taking away to become more real uh, rather than adding on things to try and fit in and a huge piece that's come in for me this week and i'm sharing this because i'm we, you know, very much believe that we're all mirrors for each other. So whatever's going on for me is probably what's going on for you or is about to go on or has been going on or there's some little gem in this that will help you. So one of the big things I realized that I need to pull away um, from the real me is the expectations of other people. And it's like that, that um, invisible yardstick that we're measuring ourselves against. And so either you grew up believing you had to be the good guy or the good girl or the bad guy or the bad girl, depending on who you were in your family or who people saw you in your family or in your community um, or your neighborhood. And in some way, we're like trapped um, to a certain extent, unless we dealt with this stuff um, in those. Um, and they're often unspoken expectations, but it's how you're expected to be. And there's a certain vibe that goes with it. So my question for you this week is to just sit with it and see like what expectations um, do you still feel are like, you know, it's almost like I can feel it like a weight in my shoulders. What's still weighing you down by expectations from whether it's your parents, your family, your community, I don't know, your, in your relationship, your kids and um, the people that are around you. What expectations are absolutely burdening you? um and holding you back um and that if you could address those and change those actually you'd let a huge weight go and you would be definitely freer to be yourself so that's the thought for this week right and uh so if you've been doing our reflection sorry for dodging out there if you've been doing our um learning from lockdown questions for reflection we're on week seven this week and i'll put as usual i put the links for the previous questions below if you need to catch up but our question this week is how would i like the world to be from now on and you know it's like if we keep noticing everything as it is in the world it's going to continue to be the same whereas once we change our wishes either for ourselves or for others or for you know the world in general then we're starting to put an energy into creating something that is hopefully way more positive. So look, I'm gonna immediately now just pull a card to support us for the week ahead. Ah, speaking of magnets and um, going back to be your real self, I am a magnet for love, which is a really gorgeous thought and a, a nice place to be. Um, and the back of the card is, I am surrounded by wonderful people who love and respect me and genuinely want good for me. Uh, and that is definitely a fabulous thought to have. So look, that's it for me for the week. I hope that this is going to help you and that there'll be some expectations that you don't even realize that you're trying to live up to. Uh, because usually those kind of expectations are things we can never um, achieve and they're not ours in the first place. So it's absolutely not part of who you are at your soul level. So have a great week and I look forward to seeing you in another video again soon. Take care. Bye.